Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, hey, everyone. So, welcome to my talk today. First, uh, I'm going to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Rizki Aristiansa. You can call me Rizki. Now, I'm uh, a founder at uh, Falutak, which is uh, a small company in Indonesia uh, that provides uh, uh, services for e learning platform for government, for non profit, for companies, and for university in Indonesia. And I am also a Mozilla tech speaker, uh, a volunteer at Mozilla. And I also helping a premier e-learning platform in Indonesia called Indonesia X, which will be our case study in today's talk. So my handle is uh, at Aristiansa. That's uh, a little bit uh, difficult for you. Uh, you can find me on uh, GitHub, Instagram, or Twitter with that uh, handle. So. Today, uh, I'm going to talk about a uh, secret life of data in education. But uh, in, in this talk, the case is uh, in the developing countries. So because I'm, in, I'm from Indonesia, so I choose uh, Indonesia. I, I have uh, uh, worked with uh, some country in Asia, like uh, Singapore, like uh, Hong Kong, Malaysia, Thailand, and, and now Australia. But uh, Indonesia have a, a good case, a, di a different uh, story, uh, in, in my opinion. So that's why I want to share with you, with you guys in this talk. Okay, but before uh, we go to uh, we, we go to something like a data tracking or analytics inside it, uh, I want to tell you a story. This is uh, uh, this is my classroom looks like uh, ten years ago. Uh, th this is uh, no, not ten years, but uh, twelve years ago. But it's still same. I come from the small city in Indonesia called Bima. It's in East Indonesia. It's a very small, small city, very small city. And then I moved to Jakarta uh, to go for uh, a college. I go to university and uh, getting to Jakarta as a capital region of Indonesia. So it's different when I come to Jakarta. The cl classroom is like this. But uh, I'm not feeling good uh, when in the classroom like this. Can you see the person uh, uh, at the end of the stage? Okay. That's uh, 15 feet away from the instructor. So I think uh, they are undergoing uh, long distance relations. <laughs> okay, yeah, because I, I'm not sure they will get uh, what the inst instructors said. That's why uh, I come to one company in Indonesia called Indonesia X. I, I joined them and they provide a MOOC. So it's a uh, massive open online courses. It's uh, open for everyone. Uh, which uh, can handle like uh, a th 100,000 of users, million of users, or even billions of users. And the courses available in, in this platform, it's, uh, it's a free and uh, it's a free of ch charge and it also can be affordable. And the important thing is uh, real-time interaction in this platform. Yeah, it's online. And uh, inside of the MOOC platform, uh, there are several uh, course like a uh, self-paced, instructor pace. There are there are like uh, beds inside of the course. There are college credit and etc. But mostly, uh, people believe in uh, in the e-learning platform. The content is the king. Okay, content is the king, but platform is a kingdom. Okay, so the king without kingdom is nothing. Uh, that's uh, except this one. You are king of my heart. Okay. I'm not sure you get my joke because sometimes uh, people from Indonesia get my joke and uh, it's different from here. Oh, it's funny. <laughs> okay, so you might you might be already know some of the MOOC platform uh, in the world. Some some of it is uh, Moodle, Canvas, a Blackboard, and the one that uh, I really likes and I I often to contribute to the community of it is uh, the Open EDX platform. So that one, that, uh, that is the platform that we use in most of uh, our client. So they, they want to build the MOOC platform, so we provide a service uh, in Open EDX. So inside the, uh, the platform itself, there is uh, like a, a learning management system and a content management system, but we often uh, to use the learning manage management system, which is uh, for, for user, for instructor, they can manage the user, manage the role, 
and even manage, uh, and of course manage uh, the course inside of the education platform. Inside of the LMS, uh, we can also man, uh, do uh, like uh, management of uh, classroom training, schedule, booking, attendance, uh, manage like uh, grading, social learning, or even uh, gamification. Like, uh, how many of you now uh, learning 4.0? No? So uh, learning 4.0 is the, the next generation of uh, e-learning, e uh, I mean e-learning 4.0. Uh, it's uh, the next generation of uh, e-learning, which uh, inside of it, uh, there is a user approach, there is a data analytics and a dashboard, there is also mobi mobile learning, and uh, I forgot uh, the one, it's uh, gamification. Yeah, in the e-learning 4.0, uh, there are uh, four elements of it that I said uh, previously, okay? But uh, in Open EDX, uh, like, uh, uh, like I told you before, it's, uh, there are already uh, feature of uh, e-learning 4.0 in the Open edX platform. Okay, let's come to the stakeholder of the uh, education, in education, uh, of course, in the MOOC platform. So there are student, researcher, instructor, and analyst. So, so student. So we are focusing to this, uh, to this uh, stakeholder because uh, all of the data, all of the analytics that uh, we have in our uh, education platform is uh, focused to a student. The next one is a researcher or can be a developer who delivering the raw data, who aggre aggregating the data. And there's also instructor who provide a, a content for the course uh, and sharing to the community in the e-learning platform. And we also have analysts who do like uh, data visualization or uh, creating the dashboard visualization, managing uh, the transaction or uh, recording in the data and or even uh, tracking. Okay. Next, uh, I'm, go I'm gonna talk uh, about a relation between the web literacy, web literacy with the e-learning platform because uh, uh, we, we often to see the e-learning or MOOC platform is uh, available on the web. It's not only on the uh, mobile application or a desktop application, but uh, we often see it uh, in the web platform, of course. So in the web platform, uh, in the web literacy, there are three, uh, three main activities uh, inside of it. The first one is uh, participate. So student instructor inside of the uh, the e-learning platform can do like uh, contributing, sharing, or protect uh, its other informa information inside it. And the next one is uh, uh, writing. So uh, people who join the e-learning platform often to do like uh, coding for maybe like uh, Python uh, courses, like doing uh, re remix coding, design, and etc. And they also do like uh, reading and watching. They, they like uh, navigating to inside of the e-learning platform. So that's a, a re rela relation between the web, li web, web literacy and the education uh, platform. Okay, let's talk about uh, the tracking and the, uh, and the data uh, case, with a case study of uh, developing countries. So in the last decades, uh, the power of uh, data analytics has uh, transformed in, uh, the instruction in education. So increasingly, large-scale data is available on the student, student learning and interaction online. Much of this data present uh, the, stu the student behavior. So we have uh, like uh, last year in 2017, we have like uh, 10, 11 millions of uh, record, data recording, which is uh, what is what our learners do inside of uh, our e-learning platform. So in turn, uh, this data can be used in uh, prediction of uh, long-term student outcomes and to analyze the factors driving long-term success of the student. But before we get uh, into the data, there are some ways to tracking the e-learning e data. First, uh, I, I think, uh, you, you might be uh, do this like a uh, manual tracking. It's like uh, after the, cor the course completion, you ask the student to fill a survey, you ask the student to fill a form. It's a, it's a manual tracking. So the manual tracking course, uh, it uh, makes sense when you only need the uh, minimal data or there are no more tracking options available in your company or in, in your system. 
The next one is uh, automatic. So people uh, often to, to use this kind of uh, uh, data tracking. The first one is uh, uh, that simple and very easy to get is uh, the web server tracking. So it's very easy to implement and it's also robust, but uh, no completion record, no assessment record, because uh, in web server tracking, there is only like a uh, number of visit, number of uh, unique uh, repeat visitor, there is only like a browser, like an operating system, so we have a minimal data by using the web server tracking. The next one is the learning management system uh, tracking. This is designed uh, specific for the e-learning platform. So inside of this uh, tracking system, you, you can get like a, a course, enrollment, registration, assessment, a grading, even a completion of a student. So all kind of uh, learning management system activity of uh, all kind of uh, student activity in the learning man management system recorded uh, in this tracking system. But uh, sometimes it's uh, quite expensive and requires signif significant amount of work uh, to config. And the last one is uh, that we always, I think we always do this one, uh, yeah, Pikachu with uh, custom hair. Okay, uh, so it's a custom tracking, so it can be tailored, so we, we can build uh, I, I think most of developers now uh, often to develop their own uh, uh, cu custom tracking, like uh, they, they can do aggregating, aggregating data using head, Hadoop or Elastic MapReduce in, in uh, AWS and then using that data visualization and finish. But uh, this kind of a custom tracking, uh, it's only necessary if you have a technical exper exper expertise available. I think most of you here that come here are already expert with Python, right? Okay, so the next one is the, okay, let's go to the case. This is uh, our case in the, in the last year. So last year we have about uh, 50,000 50, of registra registrant, which means uh, 50,000 50, of user, with only uh, 25 cores. So we have a 25 cores. And uh, inside of uh, this uh, registration, they have uh, like uh, 11, uh, 10 to 11 millions of uh, data transaction. So yeah, it's a lot. Huh? So next. Okay, this is uh, the statistic of the user. The, there are three, three elements in, in this uh, statistic. Like uh, first, uh, user join, student enrollment, and student pa pass. If you see, uh, the, the user who joined the, in the 2017, it's, uh, uh, we, we have a lot of uh, user join, but uh, we have uh, in the middle enrollment, and at the top one is uh, a student, pa student who passed the courses, which is uh, quite interesting for us to analyze, uh, to analyze the data, why uh, there is only uh, like uh, zero to 10% of the student who, 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 who pass uh, the courses. Okay, but a little bit demographic of our user, it's the level of uh, their education. Mostly uh, they are Bahlar and come from high school. Okay, and for they are mostly a, a male. Okay, this is a, a good, good case. Uh, if you look at the user age, the, it's come from 18 to 34, which is, uh, which is an age for a student and for a people who already uh, get working. We will talk about it later. And we also get the data like uh, use their usage time, like uh, when, when the people sign in when, and when they come back to the, our e-learning platform using different kind of uh, uh, device, like uh, they come with the desktop first and uh, come back with the mobile operating system. The time is, uh, if, if you look uh, at the graphics, the, the time is uh, start uh, at the 8, 8 a.m. until the 10 p.m. So people often to access uh, the e-learning platform, access the MOOC platform when, in, in the, uh, when they are working in, the, in their company. So I think it's uh, quite, <laughs> how, how can I say that? Okay, forget about that. Okay, so next is uh, we have uh, like a course category. 
So we have a, a course like uh, economics, humanities, health, and the most uh, uh, the most interesting courses in in this platform in this uh, case study is the business and management, which is uh, the art of startup courses. So people in Indonesia, it's a, a real interest with the business and management courses. So if you look at, at the graphic uh, in the business and management, the student who passed uh, the course, uh, it's only like 10% uh, of it. Okay, the top five category of uh, the courses we have. Okay. So this is what, we're, what we get. This is the activity of the student in the in a one year calendar. This is a video event. So for your information, in, in this platform, the content that, that we provide is using videos only. Uh, I mean videos and text. So we provide a, a we provide a conference, uh, like uh, there are four weeks of a course. Each week, uh, people have to watch uh, the course uh, in, uh, how can I say that? So, so in one course, we have a four, four weeks inside of the one course, and each week we have uh, a feed, uh, about a one hour of a video inside of it. So people have to uh, watch, the, watch the video to access the content, content inside of the e-learning platform. It's like this. So. It's a, it's a business and management courses. Okay, so the next one is uh, we, we try to get like a discussion because uh, in our platform we also provide a discussion forum. So we try to tracking how the user uh, interact inside of the discussion forum. So l like you see, it's uh, under 5% uh, of uh, our data for, uh, for daily data only that interest with the discussion forum. If you see uh, this image, that's a teaching assistant who, who, po who post, uh, uh, who create a new thread in, inside of the discussion forum, but only one people who answer uh, the thread. It's the uh, uh, same with the other thread inside of a discussion forum. The next one is the, this is the most active uh, activity. This is uh, the pro problem events. Problem events is like uh, the user ask, uh, taking exam, the user taking quiz inside of the, the platform. So why people uh, often to come to the problem? Uh, because, uh, yeah, I think because of this. It's uh, only multiple choice and they can do like uh, uh, check the answer uh, and save, and they can show the answer. So it's really easy for them to try, or to, to cheat, to cheat in the mul multiple que multiple question like this. Okay, that's uh, uh, the problem for us. Next is uh, the other event. This is the other event like uh, they uh, traveling into our website. So mostly uh, they are like uh, click the menu bar, click the footer and other HTML even inside of uh, our e-learning platform. So, okay, let's take a look at, at this uh, case. So this is our first run case. So we have like uh, 513 uh, en user enrolled. So we analyze uh, how they intera interact inside of the discussion forum. We analyze how the people uh, doing the exam. We analyze how the people uh, watching video on or access the content inside of the education platform, and in the in the first run, uh, the peop, uh, the user who passed is uh, only 41, and the one who broke uh, certificate is uh, only 10. Okay, our case is uh, one to make uh, our users happy. Okay, so after we do uh, we we do like uh, uh, okay, uh, if you take a look at this. So, so our user come from 18 to 34. So we, we give a discount for the user from uh, like a, uh, with, with age 18 to 35. So we, we a discount to the certificate because uh, the certificate that uh, they provide by the uh, e-learning platform is not free. It's like a $20. So we, we give a discount like 50% uh, and 70%. So after the run three, it, it's uh, change. Change a lot. It's change a lot. 
you look at this, you got like uh, a thousand, thousand of uh, people who join in, and there are hundred of hundred of fourteen people who who pass the 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 courses, and there are thirty three people who paid for the certificate. So th there are uh, some of the uh, element. There are some of the things we do uh, to get in this uh, phase. Like I said, uh, we, we give a uh, discount, we change the multiple question, we change the multiplication, we update the content, uh, like uh, how the user behave inside of the e-learning platform. And so what, what uh, to do next? Okay, next is uh, you guys have to like uh, maintain uh, the platform more robust, accurate, and comprehensive uh, student record because uh, for educator or for instructor, we need uh, a comprehensive uh, a student record for to, to track uh, all of the user data. And we also have to inform or improve uh, instructional process by giving instructor or other educator and specialist information about the distinct learning needs, like uh, academic uh, e-learning progress and education, educational achievement of a specific student. And also we need to uh, track uh, trends inside of the e-learning platform so, so we can uh, so we, we can like uh, we can predict uh, for long term outcome like uh, what we do we can uh, get uh, more student in the in the next run like like uh, like uh, I explained before and we we also have to identi identify a problem or a weakness inside of the e learning platform because uh, sometime inside of uh, our platform uh, does not uh, meet uh, with our uh, user requirement. So that's why you need to like, uh, put the feedback uh, form maybe inside of uh, your website, like uh, what we do now. Now we are actively yeah, get, get our feedback from student. And of course, uh, be transparent to a student because uh, the, you use the, their data, so no, no more data leak, okay? And earn, tra earn trust uh, from student. And you, you guys also have to protect their privacy, okay? The last one is uh, because the data is only a tool and so can improve things or use incorrectly or make things worse. Okay, thank you very much from me. Any question? Actually, it's not a different kind of platform. It's uh, it's only from our platform. It's from the Open EDX platform. So so we include all the like uh, LMS, LMS tracking that they have. Uh, we also put the web server tracking inside of it, and uh, we we, ma we manage uh, all of the all of the data that we get uh, from the user transaction, and uh, we do analysis using the Python. Okay. Okay. Okay, so some of engagement we do with the user is the social media marketing. So I, I'm not explaining about it inside of this talk, but uh, we have a, a great followers and a, we have a great likes in uh, our social media platform. So we we do like uh, we we how, how can I say that? So hmm, we do like uh, bo boosting our uh, marketing in our social media platform, it's like that. Like, uh, we, like I said, we give a promo, so we boost it in, into, in the social media platform, and we also do interac interaction with the, the user in our social media platform. That's uh, some of the engagement we do. Okay, any, any question? So, oh, it's not working. 